Good afternoon, Yellow Jim, and welcome back to more Children's Torah Stories. Today, we are learning one of the most interesting stories of something that David did that was a big, big mistake. David, where are you hiding? Where could David be hiding? Here he is. David was at home in his palace while all his soldiers had gone off to fight against the bad people. David was staying at home and David went wandering around the palace. la dee da dee da what a lovely day I'm having. And he went up onto his roof. His roof was like a balcony. So he was up on the balcony and he was having a lovely time. And then suddenly he saw, go for it. Suddenly he saw the most beautiful lady he had ever seen. And her name was... Batsheva. Hello, Batsheva. Hello, Yeladim. My name is Batsheva. Well, when David saw Batsheva, his eyes almost popped out of his head. Whoa! What a beautiful lady. I can't believe it. Ah! But Yeladim, this was not good. This was not okay. There's nothing wrong with a man and a lady loving each other. But here there was a big, big problem. Because Batsheva was married. She has a husband. Her husband's name is Uriah. Hello, That's Uriah. An idol. It was an idol, but now it's Uriah. Hello, Uriah. Oh, must that, that not be Uriah? Must I get a new one for Uriah? Okay. This one will be Uriah. Hello, Uriah. Hello, Yeladim. Uriah, what do you do? I am a soldier. I am one of the soldiers for David, Hamelech. I'm one of the soldiers for David. Oh, are you a good soldier, Uriah? I am one of the best soldiers. Where are you now? I am out with the army fighting. Meanwhile, David, as we said, was at home. Well, David said to Batsheva, Batsheva, you are so beautiful. You must come over to the palace and spend some special romantic time with me. Okay, I will. And off she came. And they spent some time together. Mwah, mwah. Kissy, kissy. <gasps> David and Batsheva, what are you guys doing? Batsheva, don't you know? You are married to Uriah. David, don't you know? Batsheva is married to Uriah. This is terrible, guys. But we just like each other so much. Doesn't matter. Not allowed. Smack on the head for each of you. Smacky, smacky. That is not good what they are doing. Well, David says, hey, I've got an idea. I will invite Uriah to come back from the war so I can talk to him. Where's Uriah going? Did you put Uriah back in the box? Where is he? Uriah, where'd you go? Here you are. Uriah, Uriah, come back from the fighting. Okay, David, I'm coming. Off he comes back, 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 back. Uriah comes back. Okay, Uriah, how's the war going? How's the fighting? Um, it's going fine, thank you. We have to fight very hard against all the bad people. But we are sleeping outside. We're eating yucky food. We're getting wet in the rain and hot in the sun. But we are doing all of these things for you, David, so that you can be the greatest king ever. Oh, uh, Uriah... Thank you so much. Now, why don't you go home and spend some time with your beautiful wife, Batsheva, and just relax for a little bit. David, how could I relax? All my friends are busy fighting at war. 
All my friends are in danger. I can't relax. I need to go back and fight the war. Are you sure you don't want to relax? No, no. Your Av is my boss. And your Av is there fighting the war. And I need to go fight with him. I cannot go home and relax. Bye. And off he goes back to the war. Do you think that was good or bad what Uriah said? Give me a thumbs up if what Uriah said was good. A thumbs down if what he said was bad. I think it was good what he said. You know, the good thing was that he cares about all the other soldiers. I think David's problem started because David sent all his soldiers off to fight the bad people. And David's just like relaxing, walking on roofs and looking at beautiful ladies. That is not a good thing that David's doing. And uh, Uriah really feels, well, if my friends are fighting a war and they're being uncomfortable, I shouldn't sit here and relax and be comfortable. That's the first thing. The second thing is that Uriah said, your Av is my boss. Is your Av really his boss? Well, yes, because your Av is the boss of the army. You can't sit forward because then I can't see on the video. That's why. Your Av is his boss because your Av is the boss of the army. But David is the king. David is the boss of the whole Jewish people. So it's not good manners. It's not polite to tell the king, your Av is my boss. So that is something he did wrong. And also the king said to him, I want you to go to Bathsheba. And he said, no, I'm not sure. Mostly it was good though. Uriah basically was a pretty good guy. But then you think David did something wrong now, which he did. David did something terrible, going and hugging and kissing Bathsheba while meanwhile she's married to Uriah. But now David does something even worse. David wrote a letter to Yoav. I don't have my Yoav puppet at the moment, so we're going to use this one for Yoav. David, shall we use this one for Yoav? Okay. Now remember, Yoav's the tiger normally, but now we're going to use the crocodile for Yoav. David wrote a letter to Yoav. And David said, Your Av, I have an important job for you. Yes, David, what is the important job? Roar! Your Av, I have. Roar! Roar! Your Av, I have an important <laughs> job for you. Uriah is fighting in your army against the bad people. I want you to wait. Until the fighting is so hard. I want you to make Uriah fight the biggest, the baddest, the meanest of the bad people. All by himself. One after another. I want uh, Uriah. I want Uriah to fight all the baddest people. Until they defeat him. And he can't fight anymore. And he will not come home. Because... If they do that, then I can marry Bathsheba. <laughs> David, what has happened to you? You were the best, best car. Now you are having romantic time with a lady who's married to someone else. Uriah, who's one of your best soldiers, you're sending him off to go and get hurt by the bad cars. What is going on, David? I'm really disappointed with you. Well, that is what David said. And basically, that is what happened. Uriah went out to fight against the bad guys. We are coming to fight the Jewish people. Um, okay, I'll fight you all by myself. Rah, boom, ah! But here comes another one. Boom, ah! So you need to sit back. But here comes another one. Boom. Ah. But here comes another one. Oh, I'm getting so tired of fighting all these bad guys. And here comes another one. Oh, I almost can't do it anymore. Help. Someone, please help me. Here comes another. Boom. Oh. And Uria was no more. Uria wasn't around anymore to fight the bad guys. And so... News came back to David. David, David. Yes, David, we've got news for you. Uriah was defeated. Hooray! Call Bathsheba quickly. Hello, David. 
Oh, but Sheva, I've got terrible news. I mean, I've got great news. I mean, bad news. I mean, great news. What is it, David? Remember Uria? Yes, of course, he's my husband. Not anymore. He was defeated. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. I'm so sad. But that means we can get married now. <laughs> okay, great. Let's get married now. Well. While they were busy discussing, <laughs> while they were busy, while, okay, I need another person. While they were busy discussing that, in came the Navi. The Navi came with a message from Hashem. David, I need this one, I need this one. David, David, yes, David, I have a message for you from Hashem. What? You have been so bad. You have been the worst. You were supposed to be the best of all the Jewish people. And now you have done two things that are so terrible. You had romantic time with Bathsheba while she was married to Uriah. And then you sent Uriah off to get defeated by the enemy so that you could marry Bathsheba. David, what you have done is so terrible. You are in so much trouble with Hashem. <gasps> Yeladim, this is so bad what David did. Thank you. What's David going to say? Is David going to say, it's not my fault? Is David going to say, I didn't do anything wrong? Well, this is where we can be a little bit proud of David again. Because even though he did such bad things, and we used to love David, and now we're really cross and sad with David for being bad, because he really has been bad today. But now David did something really good. You know what David said? Hashem, I'm sorry. I did the wrong thing. I did a few wrong things. I really made a big mistake. I'm really, really sorry. What can I do to make things better? David, because you said that, you will have a chance to make it better. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does the wrong thing sometimes. But what you did was good because you said sorry and you said that you will make it right. I will. I really am so sorry. <laughs> I realize I did the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm sorry for for getting into trouble with Bacheva. I'm sorry for what I did to Uriah. Please forgive me, Hashem. <laughs> okay. I will tell you what you need to do and how you can become good again. Because you did something really bad. But Hashem always listens when you say sorry. And Hashem will tell you how to become good again. Do you want to hear how that is, Yeladim? Do you want to hear how David's going to be good again? I'll tell you next time. Bye.